Hey guys, Steve from SynthroTech here again, and today I am going to be showing off our one of our latest modules here, which is the CCM or the Clock Capture module. Um, it's intended for uh, a couple purposes. However, it can be used in a lot of different applications. Uh, what we have here is there is an input jack right here. If you can see that input, um, that takes a stereo input. Uh, from a computer, a Nintendo DSA, or a CD player, really any kind of signal uh, that you can pan that is audio based. It can take other signals as well. Um, but the reason I designed this was because I wanted to use my DS8 software on my Nintendo and be able to um, also use my modular gear at the same time and do things kind of in, in a live patching mode while I still have a basic melody that I'm working with. So um, I've already written a song, and what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the full audio signal out, both channels left and right, and putting it into my input of uh, the CCM here. Uh, there's also, as you can see right here, there is a through jack, and that allows um, that allows the left or right channel. Um, it can be changed based upon your wiring. However. Uh, the way that they're going to be coming out of uh, the box by a pre-made one, anything panned to the left channel, as you can see here, um, will will be affecting the clock. It'll be detecting the clock, capturing the clock, and anything that is passed through the right channel goes out the through jack. And over here, I got it into my mixer, and so. I'm able to still uh, have a channel that has my original music or my song. Anything I don't want to have the CCM detect, I want to pass it through the through if I still want to hear it. So in this case, I did write a little song, and I'm going to show you essentially just what the clock sounds like. I've got it going into a multiple, and um, as you can uh, see here, as I turn this up, you've got a clock signal. And this is going in time with uh, that one track that I have, which is one of my drum tracks. All right, now we're gonna start my song that I made here and see it going through the tracks. And uh, I'll start first with the click so you can hear what that sounds like as it's tracking along with that drum track four. There's just that click. Okay, I'll bring in I'll bring in my uh, other track, which is coming out of the Wogga Bug. And now I'm going to turn the music that goes along with this as well. You'll see how everything kind of works together in time. And then I can start fiddling around my module stuff. The influence adjustment here uh, detects more of the beat and sound that you're putting into this CCM and just kind of helps you fine tune it. 